every day 45 minutes to one hour you spend time for classifications and see at the end of week or at the end of month you'll be just mastering all drugs in pharmacology pharmacology is comparatively challenging and to be frank it's difficult to master uh, it can be because of the number of drugs we have the number of classifications a wide range of classifications the side effects the mechanism of action of various drugs etc right so the thought of pharmacology itself gives us a kind of negative energy to be frank but we can overcome that gradually by following certain simple steps like for example uh, if you have a habit of writing notes then that would be of enormous help so if you're starting any topic in pharmacology you should have a notes for that particular topic because as i have been mentioning in uh, most of my previous videos notes really simplifies things it should be like a high yield synopsis right for example take uh, the, the drug classifications we have a number of classifications in pharmacology so in order to simplify the way in which we remember all these drug classifications make a habit of writing at least two to three classifications per day for example if you have a pharmacology exam in the next week that is you have a seven day time then it's better if you write at least three to four classifications every day so don't spend more than 45 minutes to one hour so the moment you start writing these three to four classifications every day so it should be like a cumulative process if you write three classifications today then you by heart them you memorize them and tomorrow when you wake up early or before going to bed you revise the previous days three cl classifications and also start writing down another three new classifications in this way in cumulative fashion you can add up more number of classifications to your notes so at the end of week or at the end of specified time period you will be mastering more and more number of classifications because mastering classifications is very important in my opinion because it gives a lot of confidence for example if i tell you one drug name of a drug then you shouldn't have that negative feeling so once you know the classification then you can easily uh, remember or categorize which classification the particular drug comes under the moment you know the classification then it will be easier for you to remember the mechanism of action or related side effects right so this is all to gain confidence so how uh, or make a habit of writing notes at least start writing few classifications per day and in cumulative fashion you just keep on revising as the days progress you'll be mastering more and more number of classifications and at, at the end of a particular time period you'll reach a stage where you will feel Feel really confident about the drugs which you have been studying all these days right so that's one way in order to master the classifications right and secondly you can frame your own mnemonics right mnemonics again they're interesting they should be funny crazy and they should enable us to remember various drugs in a easy format right so framing your own mnemonics is again very important so apart from maintaining your notes so in the notes itself you can write down a mnemonics which you come across either through videos or through online platforms or uh, by framing your own mnemonics you can just write down in the notes and this really helps in simplifying the way in which you are preparing for pharmacology right so in this video apart from this let's try to focus on various a list of important topics in pharmacology right because when i was reviewing various previous entrance papers i found questions from these topics most commonly right so as you can see here I have written the first thing as drug classification. So as I mentioned now, drug classification has to be mastered, right? So try to remember as many drugs as possible, frame some mnemonics and make sure that you master most of the drugs classifications. I have around 15 to 20 classifications in the entire pharmacology, right? So approximately 15 to 20 classifications, which you can easily master with time, right? So you need to have a lot of patience. And also there were many questions on pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics the basic principles of pharmacology right so you need to master these two chapters kinetics as well as dynamics and in specific agonist antagonist and intrinsic activity of drugs and also a therapeutic index right and bioavailability drug distribution and kinetics of elimination and factors affecting drug distribution right so these are nothing but pharmacokinetics and these come under pharmacodynamics so 
there are several questions from these areas as well so you need to master understand the principles behind these kinetics and dynamics and also there were many questions on receptors their locations and most importantly their actions the moment we stimulate a particular receptor what kind of action can be expected right so these are some of the important areas as well and as i mentioned previously drugs the classification their mechanism of action that's again very important mechanism of action clinical effects and adverse effects because even from adverse effects we have certain multiple choice questions so we need to focus on these areas as well and antibiotic prophylaxis regimens i have one video posted in youtube also you can refer that for more information even this is very important and various organisms sensitive to various antibiotics it can be either penicillin cephalosporin right so various organisms which are sensitive to various antibiotic medications right even these are very important and drug interactions again um, uh, interactions between two different kind of drugs whether the action is being synergistic or antagonistic right so those kind of interactions are important and also you need to focus on calculations in local anesthesia that is the amount of local anesthetic agent present in the cartridge or how to calculate the amount of vasoconstrictor so based on the percentage values given in the question we need to calculate the the amount of either local anesthetic agent or a vasoconstrictor right so even la calculations we can expect some questions and in toxicology various toxins their adverse effects and the therapy or means to overcome these toxic effects right so even we can expect questions from these areas right so these are some of the important areas which you need to focus on and please remember there is no other alternative to notes right so you need to have your own notes no matter how you study you can either watch my videos or you can uh, go through your textbook standard textbook or any mcq book but the most important thing is you need to maintain a notes write down any mnemonics if possible if you can frame or the mnemonics which you'll be getting from various other sources and also write down classifications of drugs so make a habit of writing the classifications of drugs it takes approximately 45 minutes to 1 hour to complete two to three classifications right and to memorize them as well so every day 45 minutes to 1 hour you spend time for classifications and see at the end of week or at the end of month you'll be just mastering all drugs in pharmacology